Ready? Okay. Ready to go. Yep. Okay. So, Benedict, tell me uh, about the award you won last night, and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the changes since last year we met. Well, uh, Leo and I were chuffed to uh, receive award from Pipeline Magazine. Um, it is for big data and analytics, and it coincides with the launch of, of uh, uh, Ontology 4, which was preceded by a project we called Project Rothko. Rothko being the American artist who painted the giant canvases and finally gave people the big picture. You know, the, the, the challenge uh, that we're trying to meet with Project Rothko is to give access to every single piece of information that an enterprise, that a service provider has, and and the only scalable, the only, the, the the only the only reasonable way to do that is through search. You know, the way that search runs over the internet, search needs to run over the concepts that exist in in uh, enterprise applications. So that's what we've done. It's it's um, it's a big step for us. You know, and and we're really happy that uh, that uh, um, uh, some of the press and 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 the world at large could see the the how that could impact uh, the industry. Tell us a bit more about the search techniques that you deploy. Well, we pioneered semantic search and, and uh, providing uh, a way to get concepts from structured applications into a search graph. Not unlike the sort of search technology that Facebook uses, but for, for business applications. And with Rothko, we've added unstructured data. So that completes the picture. Any piece of you know, com computer-readable data can be brought into ontology, and, and with unstructured data at, at almost zero cost, which makes it plausible, which makes it finally achievable to get sort of one search box that, that gets at everything that you have. Well, we met here, we met in uh, TM Forum last year in Dublin, and I think you were just getting the, the concept going. Uh, tell us about some of the strides you made this year, particularly with any uh, customers. Well, um, you know, we, we've uh, been able to launch with new customers such as T-Mobile, T-Mobile Check. Uh, did a wonderful project around bringing, using search to bring together data for a migration, inventory migration. 20,000 planning spreadsheets brought together in three months over the Christmas period, <laughs> you know, including Christmas holidays. A really big success, and they were very happy to go on the record, you know, saying that it was delivered on time, under budget, you know, uh, nicely done uh, to the team and, and to our supporters in T-Mobile. Um, also, um, we deployed service impact analysis uh, technology solution for Vodafone in South Africa using exactly the same approach, searching across uh, multiple systems including data warehouses, network systems, etc. so that they could tell which customers are affected by every change made in the infrastructure. And we deployed that, uh, I think that went live in, in February, again, on time, under budget. And, and then um, Telcom South Africa deployed the solution to correlate information from multiple systems for an, an IBM master data management program they were running, where they were having some real difficulty getting a single view of information from, from multiple sources and correlating that together. And, and that's just fantastic. And, you know, uh, uh, we've been able to, to, to have a really significant and, 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 and important um, uh, to telecommunications companies um, going on the record and talking about using the search technology. Also, what's really been wonderful last year is we, we made our first wins in, in, in the Middle East, in, um, in uh, the finance uh, industry with one of the globally, global systemically important uh, banks uh, um, uh, trialing our solution, and, and also, very importantly, our, our first customer in broadcast. So, so the technology and, and the fact that it just makes data integration unnecessary is, 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 is becoming um, much more widely understood. And the importance of graph storage as opposed to trying to build databases and, 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 and schemas to represent all of this big data that you have, all of these sources that you have, which is sort of a never-ending task of, of design, just letting the data speak for itself, that, that's coming to the fore. You used the word data integration. Is your uh, solution used when people are migrating from one platform to another? Uh, is it a one-time use, or is it becoming embedded into the fabric of the customer going forward? Well, you know, um, uh, we have certainly uh, done um, quite a few successful migration projects, which are one-time use. They are. Um, and that's helped people um, sort of move on to new platforms and, and to take some cost out of their infrastructure. But in so doing, we, we gain dependency knowledge of, of how equipment interacts with services, interacts with customers, interacts with the financial side of, of bills and, and, and accounts receivable and accounts payable. And, and once you have that overall view, then, then, then the system starts being used um, um, operationally. And a great example of that is Neotel, part of uh, Tata Communications. Um, they used our system for a Kramer migration, I think back in 2010. And uh, last year we deployed a billing uh, dispute reconciliation um, uh, portal for them so their customers could see, you know, 
which services they'd ordered, which orders had gone out into the workforce, which changes had happened in the infrastructure to support that, and see that, yes, indeed, you know, what they they, 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 they paid for had been delivered, uh, and resolve building disputes and, and, uh, and, and bring forward payments. So, you know, it's sort of a win for both sides. Okay, final question, Benedict. Um, TM Forum's been around a long time. Frameworks have been a long, around a long time. You've got a new concept that you're bringing to market. Um, is it a disruptive force in frameworks, or is it complementary frameworks? Where does it fit into frameworks? It, I think the 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 benefit here is to make it easier to bring together data from different systems because that's proved a tremendously difficult and costly challenge. The the goal remains the same. You want a a, a linked up, centralized trustworthy view of information. And and the less you have to do to legacy sources in order to make them work with your new reality, with your new systems, the better for everyone. So so absolutely, being able to, to specify best practices, being able to specify the target, uh, which TM Forum does uh, at, at, at a fantastic job of, uh, re re remains the goal. Getting there is what's made just a lot easier uh, by, by, by using search technology uh, where, where it's appropriate, and that's with the existing data and tying that together with the new data sources. Benedict, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. That didn't hurt. You didn't need your notes. Yeah, well, I hope that was all right.